Hey family. Hey family. I know it's been some time. I know I haven't been on. And I had to just come on. I had to come on. And I was watching this show and um, about Dr. Oz. So those of you guys that did not see the show, it was good. Good. I love Dr. Oz. I love his show. Um, I love all that. So today on Dr. Oz show, it was the, it was called the fattest women in America face off family. If y'all didn't watch that goddamn show, I'm telling you right now, that shit was good. I asked that you go online. Um, I don't know if he posts his, uh, shows on, on his website. That was, a, that was one that was, uh, a good one. And, um, in that, in that show, they were talking about the correlation between weight and past pain. And it was good, you know, and it was tripping me out because there were so many, there, there was, um, uh, one side of the, uh, stage were women that were, you know, really wanting to make a change in their life about their weight. What's up, partner? I'm doing a video right now. Hold on one second. Quiet on the motherfucking set. All right. Hold up. <laughs> My partner. Okay. So anyway, on this side of the, uh, on this side of the, of the, of the stage, on this side of the panel were women that were, you know, for losing weight and blah, 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 blah. And then on this side, it was women that were totally acceptance of their size, of the whatever, whatever. Family, I was sitting up here watching this shit. And, um, and it was like, y'all, I'm telling you, I was sitting up here and I was watching it because, and then too, I began to, um, I was going through some of my, um, pictures. My sister had put some of our pictures in this little thing right here. And so, um, you know, my, these are some pictures that my sister had got from my mom's house. And so she had just put them in this and brought them over here to me. So, um, me and the kids, you know, we were going through these pictures and things. And, um, I say that to say, you know, because people always ask me all the time, you know, Tina, you are never really big. And, you know, how are you going to speak on some stuff if you ain't that big? I'm not that big now, Okay. But there was a time in my life where, you know, I was big, you know, big girl. Let me say that because I'm still big. I just, I just was big girl, okay? Over 100 pounds ago. Yes, I weighed an additional 100 pounds on what I weigh today. And um, so that's why I'm speaking on this not to, as y'all fucking call it on the East Coast, a shade. We don't call it shade here on the West, but, you know, that's the shit that everybody want to say on YouTube, shade. Okay, well, shade, I'm not throwing shade at nobody. Um, um, it's just the fact that I'm speaking on this, and I'm speaking on this shit from experience. Um, it's nothing cute about being over 350 pounds. There's nothing cute about it. You know, and, 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 and be, some of these ladies were sitting over there six hundred pounds. It was one lady like seven hundred and something. One lady was saying she wanted to be over fifteen hundred pounds. You know what I'm saying? Doug, you straight or you want me to call you back? Are you alright? Oh well, then just 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 put me on just put me on speaker and put me on mute then. Cause I, I, it ain't gonna take me that long. I'm trying not to be that wordy on this one. Oh, okay. Well, then watch motherfucking YouTube then, nigga. Shit. All right, partner. Hold on. Anyway, my motherfucking partner. We talk shit like that, so don't take offense. That's just my motherfucking partner. That's my girl. You know what I'm saying? That's just our dictation. That's how we get down. That's how we roll. So, anyway. Uh, but I speak on the weight issue because I was there. I was there over 300 pounds. I know what 300 pounds feel like. I know what it looks like. I know what it smells like. So I am not on here trying to throw shade at no fucking body. Nobody. 
Now, the personality that I have now, my personality is a little bit more flamboyant now because I'm not wearing this extra suit that I used to wear. It's almost like I came out of a cocoon and I can move my body more freely. I can jump a little bit. I remember at being over 300 pounds, I couldn't jump. You know what I'm saying? Even at my wedding, you know, they wanted to jump the broom and all that shit. Nigga, I couldn't jump the broom. Wait a minute, is my wedding book in there? Hold on one second. Yeah, it is. Hold on. My wedding book was in the in the drawer over there. And I wanted to show you guys, because, you know, people will constantly be like, you know, because people, you know, people are very insensitive about a weight issue, okay? And basically, what the re only reason why I'm going to show the pictures that I'm going to show is because I feel like I can't speak on this, on, on this topic because I was once there. It, it makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable when people talk about something and they weren't never there or they were always skinny. How the fuck can you tell somebody? To go on a diet and lose some weight and your ass was never fat. You know what I'm saying? Or you were never really considered as morbidly or super obese or whatever. How the fuck can you tell somebody to back up off the table, go on a carb diet and all that kind of shit, and your ass was never fat? Well, as for me, I was fat. Let me show you. Okay. Um, When me and Tony got married. What is this? Y'all ain't been in this shit forever. But um, we had our wedding thing in the paper. Okay, you see it says February 13th, 1994. Um, here's a picture of me and Tony. When we Did we not look young, y'all? We were very young. That's me right there, okay? But I'm going to show you guys a couple pictures, okay? Now... I had my surgery back in 1994, April 14th, 1994. I got married um, February 12th. Hold on. Let me show you guys my wedding invitation. Y'all gonna gag. Y'all gonna trip out because we looking like two motherfucking kids. This is my wedding invitation. <laughs> Tony looking all young and shit. <laughs> Let me cover his face. I don't need y'all to. Well, it don't matter. Y'all done seen it now. But anyway, this is this is us. We were um. This is our um, wedding invitation when we first got married. And uh, anyway, so let me go through here right quick as I'm talking to you guys. And I'm gonna show you guys. Your girl was a big girl, bigger than what the hell I am now. I'm gonna show you my wedding picture. Hold on. Hold on. Look, watch this. We got married in a huge church. It was beautiful. Hold on. Look how big I was, y'all. Y'all check that shit out. That's me. On my wedding day. Uh, let me see what else is in here. That should give you enough right there. Let me see. Check this shit out. <laughs> Look at Big Mama and shit. Look at my motherfucking ass, y'all. See this shit? I know it's all discolored and shit. I really need to put this in something else. But y'all remember these old wedding albums was the shit at once upon a time. But anyway, look at me. The back of my gown, the back of my dress and everything and... Then, y'all, I had the hardest time trying to kneel. I was kneeling at the wedding. Uh, me and Tony, if you guys can see that. Uh, let me see what else is in here really, really quick. Badass motherfucking Marquise he bought me, y'all. Look at my wedding ring. I've had, I've had two different wedding sets. But this is my first wedding set. He had bought me a one carat Marquise. That's when the, you know, one carat was the shit. Now motherfuckers, now it's talking about, oh, I want me a three carat, four or five carat. But in the 90s, though, 
You know, uh, a, a regular solitaire one carat stone was the shit. Look, check this out. Y'all, they had to put my ass in that motherfucking dress. And on one of the pictures you're going to see on the side where the, I was busting out of my fucking dress. I think my dress was a size 28. Look, I was so fucking big, y'all. I had to wear uh, isotoner slippers. I couldn't wear heels because I was so heavy. Look at the picture. Look at my feet. Are we not kissing, y'all? <laughs> anyway. Damn it. I got some, some shit falling from somewhere. Okay, hold on. Y'all, hold on. Let me show y'all Tony, y'all. Hold on. My motherfucking husband. Hold on. Check this out. Look at Tony. Look at all young and shit. <laughs> Is that not the coldest? Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me just go through here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me see what I can find really, really quick. These are a lot of the reception pictures. Oh, let me show y'all my mom and dad. Let me show y'all my parents. My mama was so pretty. So fucking pretty. Look at my mom and dad. It's my mom and dad right there. I love my parents so much. Oh my God. That's my mom and daddy right there. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me show y'all a picture of Oh, let me show y'all in my dress how my dress was busting out, y'all. Check this shit out. My dress was so motherfucking, I was so heavy, it was unbelievable. But my dress, I had a hole in the side of my dress. I was literally busting out of my fucking dress. Do you see the hole right there on the side of the dress? Right there. Like a little hole right there on the side. Every time I look at my wedding pictures, I remember that on my dress being, you know, like that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This shows our asses. This shows my my big juicy ass right here. And believe it or not, y'all, believe it or not, my husband loved me more when I was this big. Believe it or not. As I began to lose weight, he had a problem with it. But when I was this big and juicy, he was cool with it. Okay, now, uh, that's enough. Y'all done seen enough, goddammit. It's obvious. Y'all see what's happening. And what makes it so bad, I mean, Tony was such a good guy. Do you guys, well, I ain't gonna even go into all that. I don't need to say all that. This is my reception, the, the dinner part. And my reception was in this atrium. It was beautiful. Um... Let me see what else I can show y'all. Lord have mercy. He's trying to get the garter belt off my ass. Look, check this out. He's trying to get my garter and shit off my ass. You see that shit? So anyway, I say all that to say. You know, I know I didn't want to, you know, take up so much time with that bullshit. I had pulled out these other pictures. This is at a luncheon when I was in nursing school. Hey, senior. Yeah, crutches. crutches? No, why? What's wrong? Tony, do you remember this picture? <laughs> huh? Take, take one of those Motrins right there. Right there. 
And when you, um, you get ready to get in the bed? Okay, when you go to the store, get some, um, crackers for the chili. Okay, just some regular saltine crackers, lightly salted. Oh, well, it don't matter, but, you know, lightly salted if, if you can. Now, see, look, check this out, y'all, because, see, y'all know I've been sewing for a long time. I used to make me and Tony outfits, and this is our Beretta that we used to have. And I made this, I made him a full set, and I made me an outfit to wear with his. But, see, I wasn't that big when we first met. He put this weight on my ass. He made me look like how I looked on them fucking pictures. I had gained 100 pounds. Let's see, we met February 8th, 1992. By the time I got married, February 12th, 1994, I had gained 100 and like 20 pounds. But this is what I looked like before we had got married. I wasn't heavy. I wasn't really heavy at all. Look, I wasn't heavy. And then this is when I began to get pick on weight. This is me in the hospital having Anthony. So for the motherfuckers that still want to believe that I am a man, let me show y'all some motherfucking pictures of my ass in the hospital during my labor. And believe it or not, the other day, um, we were watching a video. Well, I had watched a, a little bit of the video when I had Anthony because they had videotaped it. This is me in the hospital bed. I was giving birth to Anthony. Remember these old Polaroid ass pictures and shit? It was little Polaroid ones. Me and Tony in the hospital. Having Anthony. Oh, here's Anthony. My daughter, Tioni. My old baby. Um, what else is this? Tioni. She was into that motherfucking binky, boy. She, you take that motherfucking binky, it was a problem. She used to call it Nini. It's my Nini. So anyway, yeah, Tony was praying for me while I was getting ready to have the baby. I'm showing them our pictures. You know, people be still saying, oh, I think that's a man. So I had to go on and show these motherfuckers that I was actually, oh, what happened? Did you call the doctor? Do, do you need me to call Dr. Dr. Wilson or what? I think I called Redlands this morning. They told me you got to call Dr. Wilson. He has to recommend you. But see, I Not think with no PPO insurance. They said he has to recommend me. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to find out tomorrow because I... Oh, you want to go to urgent care? Whatever happened, it happened Monday. So I'm thinking it happened when I was on the track. Now I'm thinking what well, happened, you were on duty. Now that's a different story. Military can get involved. Oh, I gotta find out. Can I do that? Hmm. 